back again. Uh, this time we're in Monza. It is Ferrari's home grounds and Ferrari is our engine supplier. So uh, we want a good result here. If you didn't watch the last episode, make sure you go watch it because, um, yeah, it was, it, it was not great. I... We basically we were twenty meters away from a race win and we ran out of fuel. That that's how it ended. We were, we were going to get a P one and a P three and it ended up we just got a P two because uh, yeah we we ran out of fuel. All right, less less said about that the better. Uh, you can see Red Bull nine points clear at the top of the constructors standings. We're in P four now. We should have another uh, like twenty odd points, so we should be close to Mercedes. But oh well, um, we we could still come back. There is still eight more races to go. Uh, or seven more. I think that's seven if you include this one. Um, Verstappen leads the drivers' championship with a bit of a healthy margin. Uh, Gazi down in P6. He could sneak into the top five, maybe even the top four. Perez isn't doing that great, especially compared to Max Verstappen. But Magnussen all the way down in P10. He had a race win last time out, so uh, I can't really get mad at him. We do have a regulation vote. What is going on here? Financial changes for 2024 um, for cash prize. We changed it last year. Oh my god, this is good. This is a huge one. Um, oh no, it's not. I thought I was 102 to 81 for a second. 100? Okay, it's only a 3 mil difference. Um, that's a little bigger. These are a little bigger. Um, it gives 5th through ninth more money. I, I don't like that one. I'm going to vote against it. Especially as we're developing. Um, just like Jack Doohan. Jack Doohan, who I want in the car... Maybe for 20, either 2025 or 2026, I want him to replace Kevin Magnussen. That is the idea. Whether that happens is another story. We might just pick up someone else. Oh, it's raining. You know what? Jack Doohan, get in the car. We'll replace, we'll replace him with Gazzy. I mean, we've done it with Magnussen multiple times. Jack Doohan, get in the car. We're getting your experience up. All right, we're going to take new parts for Gazzy. Um, we'll take the penalties and we'll put on the new parts. Uh, we, we get, we're going to have to do it. Probably again with Gazi. Um, maybe just one of them. Um, we're going to have to do it again for Magnussen as well, but we don't want to do it at the same circuit. I think with Magnussen, I don't know, another good track. Maybe Mexico or Brazil we could do it. But we're going to do it here for Gazi. Do we put on... No, we need to get a new gearbox. There we go. Um, so, Jesus, how many gearbox do we need in one season? We're like Alfa Romeo in real life. But we've put on brand new parts for Gazi. Honestly... Might not even go out for him in qualifying. Magnus, on the other hand, you can see the best practice time. Gazi was five tenths quicker, so maybe we should have done it um, for Magnuson. But oh well. All right, let's send Gazi out. One of our sponsors is to get both drivers in Q2, so we might as well uh, at least get him there to get the extra money. Magnuson in P6, he's safe. I'm, I'm sure Gazi is going to comfortably make it out. Uh, Hamilton down in P16, so unless he makes a mistake, he should be able to get out, which he did. Uh, and Gazi goes up to P5, showing his pace. Max is only a tenth slower, and he went earlier. So um, maybe it's not all too bad. Gazi will be dropping to the back of the grid. I'm not sure about their penalties. I wish I could see how many places it was, because if they've taken all brand new stuff as well, then yeah, I might try and finish ahead of Bottas, Alonso, and Ocon, because that's an extra three places, but... I, I don't know. Lance Stroll is also out in Q1. Uh, but Magnus, on the other hand, we're going to try and get him. Uh, I'd say top six, top seven is a possibility after penalties. Uh, if the front two are getting penalties, probably, yeah, top six. We'll send Gazi out on a used set. We'll send him out on a used set. Um, he might be able to make it out of Q2. Probably will be able to make it out of Q2. But they're, they're really skewed because Verstappen, Norris, and Hamilton all got held up. Magnussen... I was going to say should be okay, but now he's just messed up his lap. So that's Magnussen praying that his first lap is good enough. He probably ruined his tyres as well. So Magnussen has got to come in. Um, he's down it. Oh, I should have slowed it down. I should have slowed it down. Gazi was the one that removed Magnussen. I'm actually, I'm actually a terrible team principal. I've, I realised it in the last second. We should, if we called Gazi in, Magnuson would have got into Q3, uh, Q3. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. You know what? Why not? We'll just send Gazi out on a use set. Uh, it's to say what he used in Q1, say what he used in Q2, and uh, we're going to use it again in Q3. Because I, I feel like he's still going to be able to get in the top six, even with um, a two-lap, or now I guess three-lap, 
push lap old tyres. I see where he goes. He goes P5. On a used set of tyres, he goes P5 ahead of the Mercedes or Lewis Hamilton. That's the sort of pace he's got. Um, on a new set, he probably would have went like a tenth quicker. Uh, I don't think he would have went, got in the top four. But P5 for Gazi, P11 for Magnussen because he screwed it over. Should go ahead of Alonso, Bottas, and Ocon, and Gazi. So that's four extra places there. So I guess it's not the end of the world for Kevin Magnussen. But it is frustrating though. And we could have caught Gazi in. Magnussen would have got through. And he could have been even higher on the grid. It is supposed to be a dry Sunday. Um... But we are going to go... Ooh. Those mediums are going to struggle to get to the end. Why... Don't we try a two-stopper with um, Gazi? Wouldn't that be the way to do it? We'll go soft, medium, soft. So we've got an extra set of softs. Couldn't we do that? We're going to use... Um, pit early. Go on to another set of softs. Uh, it doesn't look like it's the best strategy ever. But we might as well, I think. Um, yeah, no, no, we'll go soft, medium, soft with Gasly. We, we'll try something different. Magnussen, where is he starting? Magnussen, P7. Gasly, P19. K-Mag, we're going to be a bit more safe. Maybe we go um, mediums to hards. Oh, did they we'll go mediums to hards so we can push with Kevin Magnussen. So, two different strategies. Both drivers are going to be pushing. Uh, we're going to push pretty crazy with Gazi, Try and get him through that field as fast as possible. Uh, he should be able to get past the back markers quickly. That is what he should be able to do. Once he gets up to P13, P12, that's when he can settle into the race a little bit. Uh, and we'll make that pit stop onto the medium tyres. Uh, but a bit of a strange starting position. We're down in P7 and P19. Not a usual place for us to be starting now. We're, we used to be uh, near in the front. But Magnussen, did he get a good start on those medium tyres? He's behind George Russell. If he can get past a, a Mercedes, that'll be really nice. Hamilton up in P3. Um, Stay cool, man. A good job. He hasn't lost the position. Oh, he's got an Alpha Tari on the outside. Do not let that Alpha Tari pass. That's one thing that you do not want to do. Gazi, he's dropped down into P20. So Ocon's got past Gazi. And um, yeah, so let's see what everybody's strategy is like. So we've got a couple of drive, uh, a few drivers on the softs, rest on the mediums, no one on the hards. Gazi, just get past this Williams, please. Uh, but Magnussen's had a decent start. I'll tell you what, he's on the back of George Russell. Um, I think he just needs to settle in uh, and relax. He's held on to that P7, so he's in the race. I'll tell you what has happened, though. Magnussen in P6, set the fastest lap to catch up to this group of cars, set a 2.2 second gap to George Russell, and uh, it's all go. It's all kicking off back here. You've got Sainz and Hamilton up ahead. Leclerc, Perez, and Verstappen. They're, they're almost going three wide into these corners. Let's have a look. Look, it's Leclerc from Perez, from Verstappen, and we're in behind. We're going to ride on board. Or, or, or we're going to watch this battle as we go down the straight. Perez on the soft tyres. DRS, he's going to go round the outside. Can he get the move done? Both Red Bulls trying to get past the Ferraris. Only one of them so far, but there goes Max Verstappen. And uh, see you later, Gazi. Dropping down into P19. So Gazi is having a bit of a nightmare. He cannot get past the Aston Martins. Gazi has finally... He's up in a P16. He's got past the Aston Martins. I'm thinking maybe an early pit stop. He's closing in on the... Um, on Sebastian Vettel up ahead, actually. So maybe we've finally got a bit of clear air. Finally, he's got something to work with. And he's closing that gap. Vettel is very, very slow in that alpha. Uh, let's have a look. Should be able to get the move done down this straight. Come on, we're riding on board. Surely you could get the job done. We're giving you a bit of extra ERS towards the end. A little bit too late, though. Uh, and he can't get the move done. We're going to give him some ERS on the exit. He's going to go round the outside. That'll be the inside for the next quarter. Thank you very much. All right, good job. We're going to go a couple more laps, and then we're going to pit him onto a set of mediums. Give him some clear air, and hopefully he can get going. He's dropped another place. Magnuson locks up. All right, that's fine. That's fine. He's, he's kept going. Um, Magnus is still holding on to the front front runners, so he's in the top six after that great race in Zanvoort, which we screwed up. He's still doing a good job. He's locked up a couple times there now. Gazi, I think we pit him this lap. He's going downhill pretty fast. Uh, we'll give him one more lap. We'll give him one more lap. See if he could just hang on. We probably should have pit. No, he's he's hanging on a little bit now. I think is a good time to pit. If we can pit, give him some clear air. I think we might be the only ones on this strategy. So we're going to pit him. He's, get po he's got past Sebastian Vettel. And now he's going to come into the pits. So Gazi is the first driver into the pits. Out 
in P20, but he could kind of relax, run his own race in clear air and catch up. Don't tell me the safety cars come out right after. That would actually be painful. It's a VSC. God damn it. God damn it. One more lap. One more lap and we get a VSC. Magnuson, on the other hand. Uh, let's see who's actually evolved first. It is an Alfa Romeo. Oh, no, it's a Ferrari. Hold on. This is at the very front. Oh, it's a Ferrari. Off into the gravel. Oh, it's a Red Bull. Magnuson avoids it. Come on, K-Mag. Come on. All right. Kevin Magnuson up in a P4. That is what we needed to see. All right. So now... I... It's too early for hards, isn't it? We're gonna we're gonna switch the strategy here. We're gonna go mediums, mediums, softs. This is a brave one. This is a very brave call, actually. If this works, I'm a genius. I think we utilize this pit, come in for the mediums as long as the VSC is still going. Box, box, so we're gonna box onto another set of mediums. Magnuson coming around now. VSC is still out. Another car up ahead comes into the pits. That's Perez. He might be going from. He might be going for the same type of strategy. VSC still out, and we're just coming out of the pits now. Okay, perfect. Perez, what did he go on to? What set of tires? I'm actually very intrigued. Perez comes out in P7. He's on the mediums as well. He went from the softs to the mediums. Um, we went from the mediums to the mediums. But let's conserve our tires a little bit. Conserve the fuel and harvest just so we maximise this VSC. We're out in P10. That's not a bad position. Just ahead of the Aston Martins. That's actually a very good position. We get some uh, a bit of clear air ahead of us. We'll catch up to the cars very quickly who are on older medium tyres. I think that's a good idea, though. I think that was a good idea. Come in, put a, set of, a new set of mediums on, and we switch it to a two-stop strategy. There we go. Taking a while. A safety car ending soon. Okay, so we'll get our drivers ready. We'll go on push mode, neutral. Um, same with Gazzy, who... That's kind of been screwed over for this. He pitted literally the lap before the VSC came out. You can see Verstappen all the way down in P16. Science in P18. I think Gasly can actually see Carlos Science if we have a look from the rear view of the Ferrari. Gasly, yeah, he can see him. He can see the, the Ferrari right up ahead. So, um... I guess guys, he's not too far behind a Ferrari. We'll take that. But main eyes on Kevin Magnussen. He could be in for a podium position. Just needs to push on. He needs to push on and get away from this Aston Martin, first of all. K-Mag's now kind of stuck in the train. Perez has got through it. Magnussen just got past Sebastian Vettel, who might actually challenge him on the way back. So just stay ahead, K-Mag. Stay ahead, and then you can get on the cars up ahead. Uh, is that Bottas who just came out of the pits? How did Bottas come out ahead? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, he was defending. I thought he, he came out of the pits. I was like, where, where did he come from? All right, Magnussen, he's got a few cars up ahead. If he could get past him quickly... His race is well and truly on for a potential podium. But he has to get past him quickly. Uh, get one down this straight. It's Bottas. No, he got held up there. All right. Well, that's not great. Uh, battery is gone. But we're going to see if he can make a few overtakes. Yes, he's getting past Bottas now. So make one overtake per lap. And uh, he, can, he can get up there. Get past Lando Norris. He got past Ocon and Norris. He's up into P6. He's got a bit of a gap. But the uh, DRS is certainly a problem. He needs to pull away just a little bit. If he can pull out of that DRS, he can, he can stay away. But I think Ocon's going to breeze back past him here. So that's a little frustrating. No, he stays ahead. All right, we just don't have any ERS to play with. That's the only problem. Okay, we spent the last couple laps just harvesting. Harvesting energy, getting some back. And we've got to pick a time to really go for it on Esteban Ocon. I don't want to do it down this straight. I want to do it down the next long straight. And then we're going to really go for it on the next lap. Just to try and pull away from the LP. Get out of his DRS. We get out of his DRS. Perfect. And we're sorted. But we need to make the move down this next straight now. So this is where we're going to go for it. We're going to have DRS. DRS enabled. Uh, around the outside we go. Alright. Pass the LP. Pretty simple. This lap is what matters. Deploy the ERS. Get gone. Ocker behind. Four tenths already. Keep that gap going up, K-Mag. This is the push lap. Six tenths, seven tenths. Look how fast we're going on the fresh rubber. Or, or fresher rubber compared to Ocon. Eight tenths, nine tenths. We're out of that second margin. Done exactly what we needed. Yellow flag in sector two. Don't have to worry about it. Ocon does not get DRS. And he's under pressure from the McLaren now. So Magnussen's done everything we needed. And um, away from P7, he goes. Gassi, on the other hand, look at him down in P15 ahead of the, the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. Uh, pushing on with his race, trying to maybe um, get in 
to the points for us at the end of the Grand Prix. But look at that gap now. Oh, wait. What gap? What's he done? I was, I was just like, look at that gap now. And he's locked up. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, it was looking so good for Magnussen. He's gone straight over. All right. Yeah, he just sat there. He, he thought about going down the escape road. Didn't fancy it. Magnussen down into P9. I guess that's not awful. He's lost quite a bit of time, actually. But Verstappen's going to breeze past us. He's on the hards to the end of the Grand Prix, Maxis. The Verstappen is going to the end of the Grand Prix. Ricardo is on the same strategy as us. So we don't really... I was just about to say, we don't really want to let Ricardo pass. And I guess we, we didn't let him pass. We crashed into him. Oh, Kevin Magnussen, you're back to your old self, aren't you? At least be a safety car. Is it... I don't think it's a safety car either. All right. Well, we have to pit him under the softs. We have to pit him under a different type of tire. There's 17 laps left. These softs should make it to the end. There's no safety car. Magnus has got a penalty. And we're not going to finish inside the points. Nice one. This race was looking so, so good. It was looking so, so good for Magnussen. He served his penalty. He's put on a new front wing put on the soft tires and he's come out in dead last dead last I, I, I can tell you how many seconds he's come out behind as well let's have a look uh eight seconds almost behind nicholas latifi in last place all right all eyes on gazi i'm not even sure if gazi can redeem anything this race i'm not even sure if he can score any points we're gonna tell him to keep going a couple more laps then we're gonna put the softs on um He's going to have a lot of pace. He will have a lot of pace at the end of this Grand Prix. We're going to pit him this lap. I think pitting him this lap is the way to do it. Get him some clear air. Get him on a fast tyre. And let's see. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if he, he can claw back into the top 10. So Gazi into the pits. Comes out just behind Daniel Ricciardo. If he gets out ahead, that would have been nice. But P15, I'm not sure anybody else has to pit, you know. We've got to really push uh, like crazy with Pierre Gazi. Russell has got to be slowing down. There's two laps. We need more laps. There's not going to be enough laps. Um, we're behind Vettel. At least we're, we're going to have enough fuel to get to the, the Grand Prix. There's one more lap. Bottas on 29%. Oh, we're not going to be close enough, are we? Look, look how far ahead they are, yeah. There's going to be another lap after this. So Hamilton's starting his last lap now. Um, yeah, we're way too far behind. He's on 25%. Ward softs to be fair Leclerc and Perez I'll tell you what they're fighting for the race win let's watch this why watch us we're crashing every five seconds let's watch the battle for the race lead uh, for the race win should we say it's the final lap Perez thinks about a move that inside of Leclerc does not make it uh, stick just yet he's got another chance go on down this straight go on Sergio have a go around the outside why not we know Leclerc doesn't really like this corner too much go on Perez he, he thinks about it. Maybe down the inside. Can he get one last slipstream towards the line? It's going to be very close. I don't think he's going to have enough pace to do it. Perez up to the line. He's not going to have enough time. Leclerc takes the victory to close that gap to Verstappen in the World Championship. And it's been a tragic, tragic weekend for us. We're down in P13. P13. What an awful weekend. You can see a, huge, uh, a bunch of cars bunched up there from P9 all the way down to P12. Russell on the back of Alex Albon. That's a nice little battle. Hamilton's just going to hold on to P5 ahead of Sainz uh, and ahead of Joe. And we are going to come home in a P13 and uh, a P17. What an awful weekend that was. Awful weekend. Magnussen was looking so good. He was looking like a potential podium at one point. But the standard make a mistake. Uh, screws us over and it, it makes our result last week hurt even more in Zandvoort. We could have had a race win, but thankfully for us, Alfa Romeo didn't score points. That battle against Mercedes looks like it's falling further and further away. So um, I don't, I don't see us getting P3. I think we're gonna have to stick with another P4 in the constructors. I say stick with another P4. Alfa Romeo, they're not out of the question yet. They can still get points and pass us. So we have to really, really focus on. I think most of our research now, or most of our developers now, should be fully on next year. I don't think we've developed more in this car. I think we should be able to get P4 comfortably um, with the developments we've got. I think we've got one more development coming in and the developments we already have on the car. So I think full focus on next year's car now. Get P4 in the constructors. I think P3 is out the window. And uh, we move on to next year. 
Uh, I, I think that's the way to do it. We did put Jack Doohan in the car for FP1 as well. So let's see the experience. Plus 500 for practice. Growth potential. He's uh, he's improving. Our future hash driver is improving. Um, if you did enjoy this episode, it was pretty tragic. Let's put it that way. In Monza. Very disappointing. Let's actually have a look at the regulation vote results. See if they changed anything. Uh, everybody voted against it. You can see Ferrari, McLaren, Red Bull, Mercedes. The ones you expect to vote against it did vote against it because they're usually finishing up the order. We also voted against it as well because um, we're going to be up there soon. We, we, we want the race money to be high at the top for when we get there. That'll make it more rewarding. So zero points out in Monza. But at least we've got Gazi's penalties pretty much out the way for the season. Magnussen does need to take more. We'll probably take it. What, what, what race have we got left? Maybe at the USA or Mexico or Brazil. We'll take it one of those three races. Probably USA. And um, we should be able to get to the end of the Grand Prix after that. But we will be in Singapore next time out. And... Yeah, let's see if we can uh, cement that P4 in the championship. Maybe get a driver in the top six at the end of the season because we finished P7 with Magnussen last year. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.